In this chapter, manipulating data streams, working with flash under unstruct unstructured files, interacting with relation relational and uh, uh, no SQL databases, integrating with web-based data, working with real data. Real data is a reality check. Huh. Real data is a reality check. Nate Silver. Data science applications require data by definition. Sure, it's mathematics, right? It would it would be nice if you could simply go to data data store software, purchases the data you need in an easy open package, and then write an application to access that data. However, data is messy. It appears in all sorts of places in many different forms and you can interrupt it in many different ways. Every organization has a different method of viewing data and stores, stores it in different manner as well. Even when the data management system used by one company is the same as the data management system used by another company, the chances are slim that the data will appear in the same format or even use, use the same data types. Wow. In short, before you can do any data science work, you must discover how to access the data in all its myriad forms. Real data requires a lot of work in order to use it, and fortunately, Python is up to the task of manipulating data as needed. Sure. This chapter helps you helps you understand the techniques required to access the data in, in a number of forms and locations. For example, memory streams represent a form of data storage that your computer supports natively. Fl flat files exist on your hard drive. Relational databases commonly appear on networks, although smaller relational databases, such as those found in Access, could appear on your hard drive as well. And web-based data usually appears on the internet. You won't visit every form of data storage available, such that are stored on a point of sale or POS system. Quite possibly, an entire book on the, on the topic wouldn't uh, suffice to the cover suffice to cover the topic of data formats in any detail. However, the techniques the techniques in this chapter do demonstrate how to access data in the form of in the in the formats you most common you most commonly encounter when working with real world data. Tip: the sick is the sick is a psychic learn library includes a, a number of toy toy data toy data sets small data sets meant for you to play with. These datasets are complex enough to perform a number of tasks, such as uh, experimenting with Python to perform data science tasks. Because this data is readily available, and making the examples too complicated to understand is, is a bad idea. Hmm. This book relies on these toy data, such, uh, toy data sets as input for many of the examples. The toy data sets, uh, sets and techniques shown, shown reduce the complexity and make the, uh, compi uh, co uh, uh, make the examples clear, but the techniques work equally well on real-world data. You don't have to type the source code for this uh, chapter by hand. In fact, it's a lot easier if you use a downloadable source, av source available at www dummies.com slash go slash codingai o downloads. The source codes for the chapter appears in the P4DS4D colon O5 colon dataset load dot IPYNV source code file. Warning. It's essential that the Colors.txt uh, uh, comma uh, Titanic dot, dot CSV comma values dot XLS and XML 
data.xml files that come with the downloadable source code appear in the same uh, folder directly as your uh, as your IPython notebook files. Otherwise, the examples in the following uh, sections fail with, with, with an input slash output IOLR. Yes, I learned it in the C language. The file location varies according to the, the platform you are using. For example, on a, on a Windows system, you find the notebooks stored in the C, uh, C colon slash uh, counter but counter backslash users counter uh, 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 reverse slash username reverse slash my documents reverse slash ipython notebooks folder where username is your login name to make the example work simply copy the four files from the downloadable source folders uh, folder into your ipython notebook folder sure <laughs> 